draw that line in the sand. Police Union President Daryl Turner said, if you want to see recent history, where Portland political leaders veered off the rails with protesters, look no further than the Occupy Portland movement. Protesters were allowed to take over city parks for weeks. Then he points to the protests after the election of President Trump, and more recently, the dueling protests of the group's Patriot Prayer and Antifa. The culture of enablement in our political system that has been around for years have brought us to this point. Um, they do have some impact on how we uh, approach these protests. The union leader said it's no fun being a cop during those moments. They also want to protect themselves, too, when people are throwing rocks, bottles, and such things at them, including bodily fluids uh, and bodily uh, and feces and things like that at police officers. We want to be able to protect ourselves as well as protect those citizens who are protesting peacefully. He's speaking out now 10 days after this video you may have seen. Men from both Patriot Prayer and Antifa brawling in downtown Portland. No one's been arrested. Well, the rank and file are frustrated because nationally, this has gone national. You've seen Fox News and different news agencies. Nationally, people are saying, what's going on in Portland? Why aren't the Portland police doing this? Why aren't the Portland police doing that? He said police tactics are dictated at least in part by city politics and that when elected leaders allow protesters to complain about police and spark outside investigations, it keeps police from responding in a decisive manner. The uh, overemphasis on de-escalation and disengagement has caused us to not want to do certain things that we would normally do. He said the solution is simple, a unified statement from Portland's political leaders. Make a statement to those who want to commit crimes, those who want to commit acts of violence, those who want to harass people and destroy property during protests, that it will not be tolerated and that the laws will be enforced and that people will be arrested and indicted. We've not seen that yet, but City Commissioner Dan Salzman told me late this afternoon the union president is correct and the city should put out a unified statement that violent protests will not be tolerated and that police will be supported when they respond.